What's up ladies and gentlemen, the video you guys have been waiting for. Today we're going to be unboxing not only one iPhone, but two brand new iPhones. I just went to the Apple store on 5th Avenue and since I couldn't decide which model was going to be the best version for me, I decided to pick up both of them and see which one I was going to like. In addition to that, I got all the brand new MagSafe accessories. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this unboxing because I am way too excited for this right now. We have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. We have the iPhone 12 Pro. And then as I said, we have the MagSafe wallet, the MagSafe charger, and then the case. So let's just start off with the phones. Which one do I choose? Beck says the Pro, so we're starting with the Pro. This one I picked up in the Pacific Blue colorway. Oh. All right, I'm not even gonna lie. This thing is pretty crazy. I saw the blue in store and in person, it looks a lot cooler. Sheesh. All right, so right off the bat, this definitely has a very luxurious feel to it. Obviously, the biggest improvement that came to the iPhone 12 series is going to be this new boxy shape. However, with the Pro series, you are getting the aluminum sides, which in my opinion, look really flawless. I am a big fan of this. I know people have been saying they're gonna attract a ton of fingerprints. However, I definitely think this is a huge upgrade from the previous iPhone series. Other than that, in the box, as you guys know, they are only including the wire nowadays. They're not going to be including the power brick because they assume that a lot of people already have the power brick. So kudos to Apple for making an environmentally conscious decision. However, the interesting thing about this cable is that it is actually USB-C to lightning, which is a very interesting choice of the cable. However, this is the charging brick that came with my iPad Pro, so it fits perfectly. And then you're gonna get things like your stickers and then your SIM tool. So right off the bat, one of the things I love the most about the 12 Pro is that it actually feels the most comfortable in your hands. As I was looking at the entire lineup in the store, the 12 Pro definitely had the most comfortable fit in my hands, so I'm super happy with this. All right, so this is gonna take a second to activate. Let's unbox the 12 Pro Max. Now, in all honesty, the reason I had so much debate about which phone to pick up was that the Pro Max actually has the best camera systems of the entire 12 lineup. Obviously, as a photographer and filmmaker, I definitely wanna have the best cameras available. So that is the primary reason I decided to pick up the 12 Pro Max. However, my previous model was also the XS Max. So I'm pretty used to the bigger phone size by now. However, I'm hoping that the 12 Pro Max doesn't feel too big. I also decided to get it in the graphite color. I'll talk a little bit more about the color selection process later. But yeah, this thing is pretty massive. Just holding it in my hands, it is actually the biggest iPhone that Apple has ever made. Yo, this thing is a beast. The graphite color is absolutely beautiful. The stainless steel on the sides definitely warrants a pro version name. All right, so this is the side-by-side. -side. Obviously, everything is pretty much identical other than the size and the camera configuration. So my initial impressions of the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max are that they are first off, probably the best design changes I've seen come to the iPhone in a very long time. Other than the upgrade that came to the iPhone 10, I don't think we've seen something similar to this in a very long time. And for me personally, I'm very happy that they went back to the boxy rectangular design that was similar to the iPhone 5. All right, so the 12 Pro Max got set up first. Honestly, this screen is massive. I've never seen a screen this big on a phone before. And even though it does have the notch because it's a bigger screen overall, I think it gives it a smaller impression on the actual size of the phone. Now, just like anyone else, I use my iPhone for a variety of purposes, whether it's sending text messages, watching YouTube videos, using it for directions and all the above. That's why I've been so drawn to the bigger iPhone is that it just gives me the maximum amount of real estate for me to consume content on the biggest screen possible. Obviously we haven't seen it yet, but I do see a point in the future where you're eventually going to be able to multitask on your iPhone just like you're able to do on your iPad or your Mac. However, like I said, I do enjoy the portability and the compact size of the 12 Pro. So that's why I decided to pick up both of them so I can do an extensive test over the next few days and decide which one is going to become my new daily driver. Now enough about the iPhones, let's move over to the MagSafe accessories because these are also very exciting products. To be honest, I've never actually bought one of the cases from Apple themselves just because I think they're a little overpriced. However, because they feature this new MagSafe technology, you're really gonna be able to get the most out of these accessories if you do get the Apple case itself. So the cool thing about the case is that when you put it on, you're actually met with a ring which is in the exact same color as a case. It just helps notify you so you know your accessory is on properly. Next up, let's talk about the Apple Wallet. There have been a ton of mixed reviews because a lot of people are saying that, oh, it's gonna fall off too easily, it doesn't hold enough cards, things like that. So this is it right here. I got it in the black leather color. Obviously, since I got the graphite iPhone in the black case, I wanted to keep everything consistent. So the wallet does attach super easily. I don't see it falling off if you're just using it normally. The only annoying thing I've heard is that you do have to take it off in order to take out the card. Obviously, it's also going to work without the case. And this is what it looks like on the 12 Pro. And then finally, let's talk about the MagSafe charger. Out of all these accessories, I do think that the MagSafe charger is gonna be the best bang for buck because I do have a wireless charging pad, but anytime I put my phone on it at night, I'm taking a 50-50 shot of knowing that it's going to be charged in the morning. So the MagSafe charger ensures that you're not only getting a fast charge, but that it's not going to move around or fall off. 
In all honesty, the MagSafe charger is actually a little bit bigger than I was expecting. And once again, it is USB-C. It's definitely got a strong hold to it and it's not going to fall off. So if you're thinking about picking up the MagSafe charger, I definitely would recommend picking this one up out of all these accessories. In regards to the color scheme that the 12 series comes in, for me personally, I think the graphite and the silver are going to be the most timeless colors that aren't going to go out of style. And the most important part, I think, are going to get the least amount of fingerprints because it is the darker material. On the other hand, the Pacific Blue is really nice. It's a very unique colorway. However, just like the green that came out with the iPhone 11, it's something that you're going to get tired of after a while. I also saw the gold colorway in person at the store. To be honest, I think that one's going to attract the most fingerprints, but it is a very nice colorway as well. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for this unboxing. Right now, we're going to head to the park to take a couple of pictures and give you guys the first impressions of what this camera is capable of. So I'll see you guys there. Woo, these are so sexy though. All right, I'm testing out the front facing camera on the 12 Pro Max right now. It's got a little bit of a wider angle lens. So hopefully this is going to be good for vlogging, especially when I don't want to bring a camera and just want to use my phone. So right now I'm testing out the cameras on the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max. Right off the bat, I can definitely say that they're very comparable cameras and for a majority of scenarios, you're going to get very similar results. This isn't gonna be a full in-depth review of the cameras. That will be an entirely separate video. So make sure to subscribe to see that one. So right now we're just gonna be testing out the couple of lenses that comes with these phones. So right, right now I'm testing what it would look like if I use the rear camera as a vlogging camera. Hopefully it looks wide because it is the ultra wide. So it's basically something similar to like 16 millimeter on a full frame camera. Honestly, I might just use this as my main vlogging camera for now. All right, so the only noticeable change you're going to see in the cameras between these two models is that the 12 Pro Max actually has a 2.5x optical zoom while the Pro only has a two times zoom. For a lot of people, that might not make a huge difference. However, for someone like me who does like to use their phone as a vlogging camera, having that 2.5x is going to be a huge bonus. In addition to that, you also get something called sensor shift stabilization, which essentially means your footage is going to look a lot smoother on the 12 Pro Max because the sensor in the camera is doing all that work for you. Walking with this camera and shooting slow-mo footage actually looks like you're shooting on a gimbal, which is not going to be the same case when you're shooting with the 12 Pro. However, stick around because there is going to be a full review coming. it for this unboxing and first impressions of these brand new iphone 12 cameras i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button because there are going to be tons of videos talking about the exact differences between these two phones so if you're looking to pick up a new iphone don't you guys worry i will have you guys covered so until next time guys let's build peace